Episode, I think this is eight. Nine. Nine. Yeah, yeah, last one was eight. Episode nine, sponsored by Texas Pets. <laughs> Meaty <laughs> snacks. We have Nolan Shoemaker in the building. We got uh, Josh Fuller. He's sitting in for Paxton, who just took Neil to the airport. So we got a couple of interesting guys on here with me today. And I'm here to see what they have to say, or I'm hyped to see what they have to say. I'm sorry. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, it's going to yeah, be a good yeah. one. Thank you for having yeah. us. Thanks yeah, man, I'm glad me. you, I'm stoked glad to you be finally out here. made it. Yes, yes sir, sir, me too. Got out here, and obviously Josh, he's not ever been on here, but he's, he's the other roommate to me in Paxton, so probably see him on here for a solo eventually. Maybe number 10. But yeah who I mean, knows fuck maybe it. they just run it right after yeah. this <laughs> all, day, all night we'll have angel take you to the, take it nolan to the airport <laughs> yeah no that'd be fun just run it. she just got her license right yeah yeah true no it should be great well cool man how's uh how's your time been so far dude it's been a blast cool. austin's sick uh my first cool. time to like the street jam and to ride spots out here and everything else like that it's been a super good time yeah, you Street Jam was sick. You got Buck. Yeah, I tried buck. to get Buck. I, I got bucked off. Going for the bounty. I tried. Let's insert the photo of his foot here again. I should. Oh, oh my Effie God. Got roasted. Bruised. Dude. Roasted. No, it's purple. It's for purple. Sure. But, you know, he tried it. He got back up. He's been, he's been killing it. Floated the river on a fucked leg. <laughs> That was so. that was so much fun, honestly. Yesterday yeah. was a great day. I needed that. It just was to good. relax after a long weekend of just riding and oh, eating man. shit. Texas yeah. River water. <laughs> we give it we at least try and give him the float after just yelling at him to fall on the concrete for five hours. You yeah. Know? You come it's to the key. slam jam, you get something nice after, you know. It's, yeah. it's not all pain. <laughs> a t shirt and a river float, <laughs> <Yeah>. baby. <laughs> cool so you said your brother used to live out here yeah he did um i mean he grew up in california and then he got a job and they ended up the company moved out to austin texas so he went with them and then lived out here for like five or six years sweet um then he had uh started a family so he moved back to california and uh to be with the rest of his family cool make nice. it a little bit easier you got to visit a few times yeah, times. we would we would come out here for like every Thanksgiving. Um, oh, cool. We'd come out for like a week, probably, or maybe like a little bit less. Sweet. But yeah, dude, Austin's a really dope city. It's my first time like coming here to Scooter, really. So nice. yeah, I've done all like the tourist stuff and everything. Yeah, you super were ready sick. To just rip it. Yeah. Hell yeah! Did you get to ride that park with the palm track? No. Uh. Uh-uh. Damn it! It looked Damn. really nice. Damn it! That That's palm like, track looked fun. It's- Oh my god, it's like brand new, so I've only got to like ride it maybe two or three times, handful of times, but Mm -hmm. fallen in love with it already. And it's so unique for Austin. Um, We have so many bowls out here, really big bowls, you know, lots of different stuff. But pump track is relatively new, so I'm excited to see what kind of what kind of stuff goes down on it over time. I've already seen Austin and a few others just absolutely kill it. We've had some time trials. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah, we'll have to get it on the one. pump track. It's fun, man. <laughs> um, even Austin Spencer, he was saying, too, he, he was he got a flight here for, like, 76 bucks. Oh, yeah. from LAX. Dude, that's nothing. Like, that's crazy, bro. Like, yeah. Ian sure was telling me one, up. like, one of his flights one way was, like, 40 bucks. And then the Shoot. other one, he had to pay, like, like I think 100 or a little bit more than 100 but still, I was like, "Damn, dude, you found one way flight for forty bucks." Oh yeah, it's a scheme. Yeah, no, it's great. It's, it's great. Like, good. I feel like California to Texas is always cheap. Always yeah. cheap. My cousin lives out in L.A. and he's catching flights. Like, yeah, like you said, like seventy four dollars round trip. Damn. I'm like, where are these flights when I'm looking? Yeah, what the hell? <laughs> I think mine was like two hundred. Oh my god, around that. It's usually about what I like aim for on a flight. It's like I'm down to pay like 200 bucks to get yeah. somewhere for sure. Yeah. Especially sure. when you're like guaranteed you're going to have a good time. Yeah. It's not going to be like a disappointment really here with all your boys and shit. Yeah. yeah. Facts. Yeah. It's always worth it to go to the street jam. Oh, man. You know, whether you're riding, yeah. whether you're just watching, whatever it is, it's like I feel like there's something for everybody. And then 
even at the end of the day, it's like you can network, you can mm -hmm. meet new people, exactly. You know, integrate yourself deeper into the scene and see new perspectives on riding, see new perspectives on like what scootering is. And I think the the street jams in particular are very very crucial and dope to the to the scooter community. So yeah, it's good for like the culture and oh, everything yeah. else, just to expand the sport and whatnot. It's yeah. they're super sick. Absolutely. It's interesting. I've noticed like BMX and like skateboarding. They don't really have street jams. I feel mm -hmm. like that's kind of like a scooter thing. They have like, I feel like maybe like one day a year. I feel like for skateboarding, go skate it's day. go skate day. Yeah. They'll like have a jam somewhere. And then BMX has like Dawn of the Streets, which is like in New York. Oh, yeah. And they, yeah, like, yeah. they go and like, take happen. over New York. Yeah. yeah. Um, but they don't really have like, consistent jams like we do yeah yeah i don't know maybe maybe it's just not like the because scootering like you know like you guys are doing it i feel like dawn of the streets and the stuff that happens on go skateboarding day is like companies you know it's not really yeah. anybody like in bmx or skateboarding as far as i'm concerned i could be wrong yeah but not i don't true. know who's throwing those events for them as far as scootering it's all scooter riders like yeah we're doing it yeah, come check out my city. <laughs> yeah, we got a house. Come look at our spots. Yeah, yeah. yeah like, come have a good time. Do you think yeah. it has something to True. do with like the nicheness of the sport, like the fact that it is a smaller community of riders that like inspires us to, I guess, host these events where we try and get like everybody we can to come out and ride. Mm, yeah, I mean, maybe that has something to do with it. We're definitely a tighter community, I would say, than the other sports. Yeah, like. Cause I have like skate homies and even some BMX homies, but I feel like scootering so like small and accepting and everything like that, that I don't know. We were all, like, we're just, I feel like I forgot. Where, honestly, I forgot where I was going with this. <laughs> <laughs> um, the the question feel, though, can you say it again? Yeah, no, I feel like, like it's small and it's a, yeah, it's just like the, the, the smallness of the sport is like what attracts us to trying to get like everybody out. Because I feel like, you know, the skateboarding and stuff, it's like you have generations of riding and all this stuff. And it's a really expanded sport at this point. And so, yeah. you know, now with scootering, it's like, we're at such a crucial phase of development in the sport that it's like just to have that perspective of everybody coming out, riding your spots and seeing how they like look at it and hit it. I feel like might attract people or like inspire people to try and host these sorts of events, you know? Yeah, actually I, I agree with that. Mm -hmm. I think that's a pretty good explanation for yeah. why there is so many. And I don't know, we just, I think it's so sick of that. Everyone wants to do it. Absolutely. It's like everyone just like sees a jam and then everyone, someone else just like wants to throw an event. And there's just yeah. more and more popping up. I think it's great for our sport. Yeah, no, definitely. Super cool. I enjoy it because a lot of these places I would probably never go to. Except for it's like the homies are like, yo, let's all go. It's like, all right, yeah, cool. Right. Yeah, let's go. I'll check it out. Yeah. It's super sick. Yeah, I think it's like, I don't know. It's always really interesting, too, to see like what somebody's drive is to go to a street gym, you know, like most of the time you see people coming out because they really want to ride street or like other mm. people are kind of like coming out to party or whatever. But, um, I think like for the people that I meet that want to ride street, I'm always intrigued by like, what is attracting you to the street out here, you know, in particular. And sometimes it's like old edits or like different things I've seen, like media of scootering over the years. Yeah. But I always find it extremely interesting to kind of delve into like what, what brought you out here in the first place, you know? I've been just hitting jams more recently. Like I'm still kind of new to the whole like street scene or jam scene. Um, and I mean, what's inspiring me is definitely like going and seeing like stuff that went down at spots and like wanting to do other stuff. I don't know. It's just like legendary spots that are at these street jams, you know, and so much has gone down and there's so much history at all of them. Yeah. And I just want to be a part of that. Absolutely. And, like, make my mark if I can. And if I can't, then let someone else fucking get down. I think the Green Goblin is a great example. Of that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Right. Like that was the craziest thing to watch. It was so sick. And the energy was real. Yeah. The history behind it, you know, like the writers that have hit it, what's gone down on it. It's like it's very <laughs> alluring, you know? Yeah. Alluring to say the least, but I love it. I love that spot every year. 
Everybody. everybody, I think, like, especially in Texas, just knows. Like, <laughs> yeah. At the end of the Austin gym, like, we're going to have a show. Yeah, I don't think it's going to, like, really ever get old. No. Yeah. Like, it just took a while this year to get started, and then finally it was like, all right, someone did it. Yeah. Shout out Charlie. Yeah. Literally. <laughs> someone had to get the party started, and then it was just, like, nonstop carnage. Literally. That's, that's just always how it is, you know. People get up there, and no, nobody wants to do it first. Like it depends. Like this year in particular, nobody did. There's been some years where people are just like waiting all day, or that um, that one homie at the first spot who was trying like the 180 like on the precision ride. Mm -hmm. He really said he wanted to bar back lip it. Damn. And I was like looking forward to seeing that a lot too. Yeah, so, like, that would have been crazy. I know he would have probably just like hopped up and at least back lipped it real quick. Yeah, we need so, homie to. Heal up ASAP and get back for that 10th annual. I need to see that. Shout out Cody. Pull up for the 10th annual. Shout out Vegas. Absolutely. Big shout out Vegas. Dude, I need to make it yeah. out to Vegas, honestly. I've, heard so I've much tried to invite you, I know. but I think I want to gamble too much for his enjoyment. I really want to just go like, out there and hit the parks and like meet people. But yeah, at night Vegas you gamble. Is sick. At night you gamble. Night you do. Vegas That's gets true. pretty crazy. Yeah. But. I don't know how good it spots, up. good parks. They actually have like this one street plaza. I don't know if you've rode there before. Um, it was just super sick. It was like this circle almost, mm -hmm. just like a lap. It's like the reddish yeah. park. Yeah, yeah, that park that was tight. so fun to me. Yeah, it's like very technical park, a lot of jibs. Yeah, you just go good rails, laps. Yeah. If you want Literally. to, you could just take laps. It's, it was fun. I really liked that park. I would go back. Yeah, man. It's like there in Arizona. I need to go out. I've been meaning to go for a while. Like, you just gotta hit it like it's hot. <laughs> it yeah, is hot. Hit it like now, like October. Okay. Yeah. To January sure. or February. Yeah. True. That's what I mean being said. Yeah. You don't want to catch this heat, bro. It sucks. It's worse. It's, it's different than it's like, like this. Yeah. yeah. No, like definitely not as humid, but like the temperature is actually hotter. No, that's what I've heard. I've heard nights are kind of so, nice though, and I kind of nights I, are cool. I like riding at night a lot. So I, think yeah. would, I feel like it would be fun. The ditch spots out there also really call out Fire. to me. I'm like, I want to mm. see that shit. Like, what did you do? Dono, front Dono, oh, yeah. like some little bank in a ditch spot out there. Uh, that was in Colorado. Oh, Colorado. Yeah. Yeah. Looked Front's like an cute. AZ ditch to me, but you know, it's a cool regardless. Spot. Oh, that one. It's yeah. a cool spot. Yeah, they like just had a jam at that. Thing. Like, yeah. see, like that's sick. Like yeah. that was, that's a tight jam. They held a whole jam at that spot. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Just like some Colorado. It's like, damn, I need to see that. Over it, a wall ride thing. And then they put a flat bar like over the water. Oh, I, I think I did see some Instagram clips of that. I'd like to see more. I yeah, can. for sure. <laughs> they sick. probably made like a, a recap on YouTube or something. Yeah, honestly. Sure they did. Was it like, would hope, Tuesday scooters? I think it I was think. Tuesday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I think That's they tight. did it, and someone else held like that kink trail jam. I don't know if you saw that in Denver too. Mm. It was like at a skate park, just like yeah, the, the down jam, down. Yeah. Like that was cool. Yeah, they were doing some cool shit over there. Yeah, I like fucking like Bakey Fifty. There, <laughs> it's insane. Yeah. No, thank you. <laughs> I don't think you could pay me enough money to try that. Certainly not. You're blind, bro. Like dropping into that last down rail, he's so tough, so sick though. Honestly, insane. Yeah, insane. But yeah, so what? If any spot, what was your favorite so far, or at least that you've ridden inside or outside of the gym? If you've been able to have any opportunity to like ride street, you know. Mm -hmm. I mean, really, the only spots I got to ride were at the gym because okay. I got here Friday night at like midnight. Um, and then outlet was like the next day. So then I didn't, we just did that. And then the next day was the jam. Um, but definitely the gap like that. I tried to half cap. Okay. Was, that gap was sick. Okay. So yeah, no, that is insane. Yeah. Like standing at the top of that terrifying, but yeah, I was, I saw hyped. your eyes Dude. literally bug out. I <laughs> <laughs> was, cause I think I, I ran like, it up last big. year and I was going to do like 180 bar. And yeah. then this year I was like thinking maybe three bar, but, um, yeah, running it up again. I was like, Whoa, dude. Yeah. yeah this that'd is be a heavy. And I remember <laughs> that's a heavy truck for sure. Yeah. And Clayton was like, 
definitely very positive about it. He's like, yo, just take it like you can go slower. You can go a lot slower than everybody's going. I'm like, dude, I don't know. I don't, still I, don't, huge. <laughs> I don't think that way. Like with that gap, I feel like faster. Just because, yeah, you're like, you've got this little gap. And then, the, I mean, it's not a little gap, but then you got a massive drop after. So like, I feel like you need to compensate your speed for that drop as if it was still the gap. Yeah. So that way, like when you do land, that impact is not gnarly. Like, yeah. or it, it's still going to be gnarly, but not as gnarly. Yeah, you're kind of pulling a little. Yeah, out. yeah, absolutely. That's what I was thinking. Because like, like the, ass. the homie who threw it, like the homie who threw it, that was how you should, or how yeah. I probably would have threw it too. I probably yeah. just would have mobbed at it. Yeah, you know, so and like just floated. But yeah, you got bodied on that first. I would have loved to been able to give that kink rail a go too. That thing was beautiful. Oh yeah, the yeah, down man. flat down, the one that Ben and will hangered it went crazy on that yeah. front board yeah that was super cool to see because they had uncapped that probably like a couple months ago or something where it was months say, ago i've not and seen that like, spot so i was like damn that is uh, a fire a rail very, very nice yeah. rail you know some skater named figgy or something like that <laughs> yeah that Pax, sounds familiar Paxton, like knows him but he was telling me he like either back nose grind or like back crooked that rail I was like, damn. damn that's sick Pretty sure yeah. I know who that is. I would just, if I saw, I would be like, oh, yeah, for sure. I don't watch too many skateboarding videos. That's kind of like where Paxton and Caleb would always like be showing me some like spots and shit. Yeah, but, you like, can I find think a that bunch. was his name. Figgy. Hmm. Yeah. It's I'm cool. Just... I love to watch it. I just personally don't know a lot of the flip tricks. So yeah. I'm like, I don't, like, yeah, that was cool. But, like, I just look at the spots more because I don't understand, like, more so than like tray flips and like random, like, backside flips or like you know shit like that yeah i mean it's like a whole different world if he's crazy if you're not yeah. familiar with it then it's like learning almost like a new yeah. language almost like yeah i feel the same way like if someone was in this room right now listening to us that didn't know like what scootering was they'd be like what in the hell are these dudes talking yeah. about? like what are they saying right now <laughs> yeah. like it's what is it what is a tray flip what is a truck driver what is yeah. you know like yeah. they'd be like <laughs> they even speak in english almost like you know yeah we need a dictionary yeah, <laughs> yeah. action sports action action sports dictionary all right just gotta get in there cover you know, like i never skated yeah I started like bmxing before scootering okay so like i personally just like watch a lot more bike videos like that's what i like more um but yeah it's just hard for me like i like to watch a skate video but like for me to like truly be like that is fucked mm -hmm. you know it's like i can't yeah, like really truly tell, impressed like type. or if it's switch even a lot of the time if they're going like switch or fakey or like, yeah i can really tell nollie sometimes but it's like yeah i don't i don't know i'm like most people that watch skating like ah, okay he's like regular so this is like whatever yeah they know it's everybody's like, stance and whatnot like, even in scootering sometimes packs will be like oh that was switch and i'll be like oh okay yeah like i didn't think that was too crazy but like, yeah. switch is like that's super like, absolutely yeah that's pretty attention definitely yeah. gnarlier yeah switch is fun honestly i've been trying to ride it more and it's hard but it's fun yeah because i don't feel comfortable i feel like i can do a lot of tricks because i know how to do them but like just having my feet like i can't get comfortable like i, I don't know it's yeah. so wonky like yeah as soon I as i flip too. regular it's like just locked it's like, like something my feet like to go. In my shoulders i feel like yeah, yeah like, like yeah they're hips. just like permanently like yeah. tweaked like yeah. a little yeah. This way. yeah so then when i hop goofy i'm like yeah i just it's it's way more twisted yeah. on my scooter i'm like damn bro i feel the same shit. what is this it's interesting man it's fun to toy around with though because i feel like i just maxed out a lot of the tricks i wanted to do at these skate parks so it's like once i would kind of like warm up and do the stuff i like to do it's like what do i do now I go switch. home like i still kind of want to keep session nobody to ride street with so it's like fucking to ride switch just yeah. do everything i just did but switch because oh, i used yeah, to do everything sick. like front side regular yeah like i was like i got bored with back side so it's like start doing tricks the other way yeah and i got good at that now it's like all right just switch back side switch then we'll do front side switch it's a good way to learn be locked in one day yeah. i'll be like oliver sackle one day with his <laughs> switch game honestly <laughs> Insane. he's got the switch game like that dude he can do every full combo switch like first try i thought he was joking 
That's, that's pretty, pretty impressive. <laughs> he literally did like eight do. full whip tricks in a row. Did like four regular and then like four. Switch. I mean, I only got the. I only got two of them. I can only yeah. do full whip and heel rotor. Same. I'm trying. I feel to like those. I feel like those are the best ones though. Yeah, they're pretty stylish. But I'm just blessed because <laughs> this is my natural ways. So you truck, uh, you bar and spin the same way then too. Yes. Sir. Okay. Yeah, Top yeah. side, if you would say. Yeah. Interesting. So, how are your whip? How's your whip bar game? Let me ask you. I like whip bars. You like three whip bars, or is that why you three kind of whip, three full whip more? Three whip bar is a little weird. Um, yeah, I still can do them, but three full whip just feels like okay, yeah, butter. Like it feels so good. I'm in the same boat as you. I feel like because that's how me and Caleb were. Like he he rotors naturally, so he always wants to just three whip bar like everything. Yeah. And I'm always like, dude, that's so much. Like, I'd way rather just three full anything. Yeah. Like, throw, like it's so much harder. I feel like to. I do like a. I way. do just like a good like. Anytime I three whip something, like I do have that confidence where I'm like, I can definitely do a bar spin after. Yeah. But I, I just like three full whips better. Yeah. It's it a just, cool looking trick. Yeah, it just looks it's so cool good trick. to me and just feels great. I don't yeah. think I'll. It's definitely my favorite trick. It's like every has been for a couple years and. Probably will yeah. stay to be my favorite trick forever. I feel like every time I see you at a street jam, I'm I'm like, all right, I know I'm gonna get one out of Nolan today. And that's three, four. <laughs> Usually it happens. Like, I'm yeah. like searching for that good yeah. spot to do it. It's a good one, man. Everything just like spins. Like, yeah, it feels cool. You're just like rotating, the scooter's going, and then just land. Once it sticks to your foot, you're just like, yep, yep. just gotta finish this. Spin. Yeah, yep. <laughs> Literally glues to the foot. Gotta love it. That's good. What's, what's your favorite trick, Josh? My favorite trick? Yeah. Oh, man. That's a hard one because, like, I really like stale fish. Stale okay. fish is super mm. fun. I've it's never fun. landed one, but stale fish three. I feel like that's going to uh, be, I feel like that's going to be incredible when I finally land it. It's front side really or nice. back side? I'm doing it. You're doing it back, back side. side. Back side. Yeah. Back that side. would be, yeah, that, I feel like that would feel sick. It It's like some snowboard shit to me. It looks super yeah, fun. Yeah, yeah. And I've gotten very that. close, and it's a good feeling, but I haven't quite landed it yet. So I feel like when I unlock that, <laughs> that's going to be a really, really fun one. But I'd say for right now, like honestly, judos are pretty fun. Learning those yeah. judo threes were you got those yeah judo fun. threes yeah judos are fun super sick hell yeah um really fuck with lynches lynches are super dope or hangers whatever you call them. I think lynch is like the I don't know like the lip one. Yeah. I'd say hanger is like the board one. Yeah. I think like, that's what it is. You can call it a feeble, but you could also feeble the rail. That's true. Like actually. Yeah, but like that dude like on ethic. Pressing yeah, that back wheel. That dude's crazy. Like, bro, okay. he is cracked, honestly. The guy with four pegs. He will literally be just feebling up these I like feeble rails. A rail. Yeah. It's crazy. It's actually he's cool. I'll, I'll try and Christ. show him later. People Josh, sniff on like a round guy. rail or like yeah, a like flat a, bar or what? No, it's like a, a fat up rail. Like oh, it's Jesus. usually in the park and shit. Like, but he he will destroy a park like full scooter control. Damn. It's cool. Okay. Yeah, he can like it's, he's like the only one I've really seen like that's got like feebles and yeah. maybe a smith. Yeah, I think he can smith like round rails too. I feel like stuff, smith like, up a round rail in general is very Stupid. like dialed <laughs> like that's pretty <laughs> <Yeah>. crazy <laughs> that's nuts i could never <laughs> no that's what i'm saying it's like that's pretty never. fucking cracked <laughs> it'd have to be square <laughs> <laughs> no, i get you it'd have to be square what's your favorite trick austin yeah i'm interested uh, i think i might know uh, honestly i don't know dude i, don't, I would just like manually i would say I that's like pretty true true. Like probably like an actual trick, like a full whipper, front scoot, just because I like the feeling of them. But my guess was front day, scoot. Day to day. It's a good one. I do like that one just because like I used to do a lot of inwards. Mm -hmm. And I feel like the front scoot is now respected. Go that. Like nobody really does them. Yeah, and there's not too many people keeping them alive. Shout yeah. out. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. just Shout having like, just having rode with you at parks for like the last two years. If you would ask me like, oh, what's what's Austin's favorite trick? I'd be like, 
maybe three downhill mm. because yeah. I see you throw those all the time, do. and it's you do safe, like to throw in combos too. Yeah. yeah, it's just like I know I can catch it, and then just like, yeah, they look it's good. Like, yeah, it's like <laughs> they look good. First run on the pump track or something. Like yeah. if there's a bunch of fools. It's gonna just drop in and do that real quick. You catch them front footed. Yeah, I yeah. catch all my heels front footed. I think that's what's making them look nice and spicy. Nice. You know. I don't know, dude. Andy, nice and Andy does some cool backside heel whip, back foot catch heel whips. And honestly, if you were to three downhill a box and land like on the ground, like never to catch it, mm-hmm. I think that would be the coolest thing. Yeah, just like real just jet slow. Just <laughs> as slow as the beat. Just fucking, yeah, let the deck hit first. Back wheel Feet just bounce like on after. Reverts right into place. Yeah, <laughs> a real loud one. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that'd be sick. sick. That would be sick. <laughs> what about you, Nolan? I'd like to see that. What you got? For Fav- what? Favorite trick, and how long have you been riding? Honestly, been mm-hmm. in the game a minute. I still. I mean, definitely three full whip. Okay, um, that's a good one. And then I've been riding for like twelve years. I'd say. Yeah, I've known about you for a minute, I feel. Yeah, I think 12 years. I was in sixth grade, like, when I got not a razor, you know, like, yeah, I, like, actually yeah, was, like, serious okay. about it and everything. Yeah. So then that was, like, I was, like, 11 cool. or 12. I nice. think I was 11. How yeah, old are we now? 23. Okay. So, yeah, cool. it's, like, 12 years. years in the game. Yeah. Seems Let's like go. it's a pretty popular, popular time frame for people around our yeah. age to be getting into it. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Middle school for me, for sure. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe the advertising went up. Something was popping. My yeah. homies yeah. just started scootering. Exactly. Though, like, <laughs> we all used to skate. Like, my brother Same. also used to skate. So, like, I was just like always kind of around that, or like yeah. at least action sports. Um, and then all my homies that I skated with. One day I just went to their crib and they all had scooters and I was just like, yo, like, yo, like, what are these? Kind of, you know, like yeah. I knew what a scooter was, but they were all like, they were custom scooters, like exactly. pro scooters. I was like, what the hell? That's and then, cool. yeah, we just ended up going to, you know, little Chino. Yeah. Yeah. We went to that park that day and I hated skating that park because it didn't, it was like not, didn't skate tranny. Mm-hmm. Um, so I just borrowed a scooter and then literally just had a blast. Game over. And then from that day, yeah, it was literally. just game. Yeah. I think like a couple sick. months, like maybe a month later, I had my own and I was just like, yeah. That's what's starting up. to try shit. Yeah. That's basically what happened to me too. Like, I had a like little BMX bike and my homie, you know, Parker Jones, like definitely rides with like hella grip sometimes. Uh, but he had maybe. moved from the Bay Area. And to like Austin and went to my high school like coincidentally and had like these bright yellow like bars I don't know and like a pink deck it was like cra- it looks like Andrew Bussard's scooter right now basically it's <laughs> wild I'd have to and, like uh, jog my memory I'm sure I've seen him he doesn't ride too much he never really did but like he's always been good like he could yeah. triple whip flat like he could Work. inward and like bro like do all this cool shit to me where like me being on a bike seeing this fool on this banana hammock scooter is what we call it like just, <laughs> just shred i'm like dude i want to do that like you know yeah it looks way cooler than the bike yeah just i honestly learned to bride foot before i could double whip like oh. i wanted to do that so bad just so he was like, like how he was running them all the time that dude was like one of the first like pros or like the one of the better yeah. dudes that you saw ride a scooter he was the that, like, first got you guy locked in. Yeah, like in person I ever saw who was like Work. cold. Who I was like, bro, like, like I think we all had like full like razor foldables that like we'd push around sometimes, but we were never like tail whipping it or anything. Or like Work. maybe do some one eighties or like try three. Yeah, but like he he did like a triple whip flat, and I was like, dude, <laughs> like what? <laughs> what even? Yeah, this is like yeah, Chinese what? to me. Like <laughs> it was yeah, crazy. Exactly. I remember the first time I saw a tail whip. It was like 2005. One of my Damn. homies who was sponsored on like inlines for this local park called Cyclone hops on a scooter while we were at school, just fucking tail whips it. I was first dude, tee. shocked. It was like an A model. Yeah, first T. It had like, no, it had a wheelie bar off the back, like B Damn. model. 
I was like, what the actual fuck was that? And how can I do that? <laughs> and I would try, man. And I was like, I don't, this is impossible. You know, just a little kid. But I was like mind blown. The first tail whip I ever saw, I didn't even know it was a thing. Like that that's is awesome. fucked. Yeah. That's fucked up. 2005. <laughs> Dude, that's crazy. Dude, it was crazy. Yeah. This guy, Johnny Gore. Shout out. <laughs> Hell yeah. Shout out Johnny Shout Gore. Johnny. Yeah. <laughs> wild That's but yeah crazy. no like yeah dude parker jones too like i didn't really know who he was until you introduced me to him just through your knowledge of him and meeting him and everything and then i met him i think last year right mm-hmm. at the jammer maybe two years yeah, ago finally got him to come yeah super nice guy really good at scootering oh he's, yeah yeah he's cool That's tight. yeah actually i can't say that but... <laughs> <laughs> yeah he's Same. super cool He's, he actually was the first person who took me to ride street too. Where we used to live like on the north side of town, and um, he just was like, "Yeah, bro, let's just hop on the train. Like, get on time, know some spots." I'm like, the, "Like, what do you mean?" He's like, yeah. "Let's just try. Like, let's just go." This <laughs> guy, it's cool. So I met That's sick. Matt, Theo, all these fools. Coincidentally, through him, all the old Bonanza boys. <laughs> yeah, I got put in the Texas scene. I yeah. met Josh Fuller. Integrated. Actually, yeah, no, that's crazy. It's like we did all kind of meet through the people that brought us to Matt. Yeah. And then Matt kind of like somehow He's already the godfather. All yeah. You know? Really wild. It's cool. Living in the capital of Texas and bringing like everybody, everybody from the surrounding areas in and kind of like getting them all to know each other. I think that was like a big part of the reason he started the street jams was just like integrating everybody, everybody mm-hmm. he could, anybody yeah. he could get to. It was cool. Bringing them together. Yeah. I that's super Mc- sick. McKean was like the only like non-Texas scooter rider, I think to pull up to the first one. Really? Type shit. Yeah. I don't remember like, really hey, you got a legend. Other people. <laughs> first one to hit the goblin. Yeah. He, I think he was the only person no who walked up the stairs. What do you do? Like, and just fucking backboarded it. Oh, like, back we left. Yeah. We just tipped out. We're like, word. <laughs> he go. shut it down. <laughs> like, yeah. Let's go. <laughs> no, actually, dude, Jordan Armacost tried to front scoot that set. Yeah. The first dude. year. Like, broke like, his he, ankle. Like, yeah, he got dusted. It was insane. I think Clayton tried Clayton. to truck it one year. Yeah. No, that was, was the, that I think year. that was the same year. Yeah. Okay. I take it back. Crazy. I think. He was the only one to hit the rail for sure. Yeah. Right. And I think Clayton hit a double whip. And I can't remember if That's he did it. front that or backboard. It. That's when Clayton was on. Uh, he did backboard. Star. It was backboard for yeah. sure. I, I remember yeah, that. He I had like these purple that. pants on. Yeah. I, remember that. <laughs> I do remember <laughs> that. Fucking truck driver. Somebody was like carrying Jordan on their back to the chicken spot we went to yeah. afterwards. Like, Cause he's just broken. His ankle was so incredibly messed up. It was actually bad. I remember that vividly. That's why I'm like half like wanting to do it. <laughs> so I, <laughs> like, I still remember that shit. Didn't Clayton Could like be eat me. shit too? He like slammed. Yeah. Just yeah, a he lot tried to front scoot it too or on the truck. Yeah, on the, on the truck, truck driver, yeah. I'm pretty sure Dude, he kind of Spinning down like that thing tilted. is crazy for yeah. real. Because it's like you don't have too much space to work with on your landing. Yeah. I, I think... Know. Mm-hmm. Kook on a scooter the year he was here, yeah. like he, did, he, he was trying to three it for like so long. It was just like, you know, I'm not even. I'm just telling you how it is. Like he was getting yeah. mad, like just running up. Yeah, of course. I mean, and uh, it's a eventually, battle. yeah, eventually he threes it. And I remember Caleb like the whole weekend had like this fat grease burn like all over his hand because he was working at Rudy's at the time being a cook. Yeah. And, like, he was saying, like, he was like, I don't really want to do it, like, the night before and shit. But as soon as Kook, like, three <laughs> that set, bro, something off, something went off inside this man. Oh, He's yeah. sitting next to me, like, holds the, like, literally hands me his beer. He's like, bro, I'm up. Like, <laughs> three whips at second try. Like, one run up, maybe. And, like, Dude. just three whips. He's like, this fool is not having the glory. Like, nah, hauling crazy. ass, too. Like, he was hopping <laughs> yeah. at this shit. I remember I was across the street. I see him flying through the air. After Cook three it, I was like, bro, that's fucked. That is actually insane. Yeah, he, that's a gnarly three whip. Oh my god, it was. <laughs> it's so crazy. It was, he borderline got Dude. over the curb at the end. That's how fast yeah. he was going. It was. Just it was mobbing. one of the craziest things I'd seen from him. And my favorite trick. Holy Damn shit! It. Yeah, for favorite. sure. 
<laughs> He's the legend, bro. First one to backlip it too. Yeah. Really? Caleb Caleb really is, in my opinion, the best scooter rider in Texas. Yep. I most stand ver- by that. He's most fucking, versatile. He's nasty, bro. Best okay. style. Like, dude, we when we ride, there's a lot of spots that we go to where it's like, I don't want to hit that. And Caleb's just like already like get, like get Paxton's getting the camera out and shit. You <laughs> he know, just, he just pulled up. He's like, yeah. fuck it. Not even gonna Literally. look at it. Yeah. Literally. No. It's just people who got it like that. Dying. Like who just pull up and they're just like something clicks and they're like, Yep, I Yeah. I got this. Like yeah. nothing. They don't think about me. Me, I'm like look at it and I'm like, um, I can die on this. Yeah. I don't think this can work. And then I think about it for like five more minutes. I'm like, all right, I should probably try this before I just think about it forever. Yeah. I try and ask myself, it's like, am I scared of falling? Or it's like, am I scared because I'm not even sure if I could do it? Yeah, I'm true. It's like, if I'm just scared of falling, I really try and just shut that out. And just be like, mm-hmm. all right, just jump it once or do whatever once and then you're good. Like, yeah. it really suss it out from there. But like, I truly hate like thinking myself completely out of a trick to not even try it once. You know, it's like, I always try and will, especially if it's just me and Paxton, it's like, I'll always try and give him one. Yeah. Where, it's a good, it's a good, it's good to be real with yourself, you know, just kind of like be able to shut out the fear, but also keep in mind like the reality of what you're about to do and the risk, Yeah, of course, yeah. but you know, for the most part, just keep yourself like confident, Yeah, but know that balance because I think a yeah. lot of people, like, obviously I think Caleb's a good example of somebody who just like can shut that fear out, but knows his limit yeah. to an extent. Um, but I know some people like this kid, Daryl, for instance. I feel like he can shut that fear out and just go so hard that he pushes past his limit and sometimes can get broken off. Yeah. You know, a lot so of it's good, like to, good to stay real with yourself for sure. Yeah. It's hard. I feel <clears throat> like sure. it's easier to just not ever have that and just like keep going. Yeah. Especially when the homies are like, yeah, 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 yeah. Like hit it, hit it, do it. And you're just like, <laughs> like i don't know if i really want to yeah. like i don't know if i can yeah. no, that's the worst it's yeah like, do i want to eat shit or do i want to hear the homies give it to me exactly like, i said that like at the gym <laughs> i was like bro walking away from the spot hurts worse than eating shit on it especially when your homies are watching it's like devastating the to only one out there. there still yeah it's like, like damn I shout out stinky it. yeah fact. I'm, <laughs> I'm glad you jumped that stink who yeah. is dog treats? Yeah. Massive props wink, for wink. sending it. <laughs> <laughs> for real. Yeah. We will find you. Dog treats. We will find yeah. you. We're waiting for the film to get developed. Yeah, yeah. We got a hidden camera. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't know, know, but <laughs> it's in the, the corner. Corner. It's running on 35. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. But yeah. So, dude, we got to like watch a little bit of your your clips at the at the premiere and everything yeah i thought they were super sick thank you i appreciate it and i heard you behind me you were kind of like oh they're super low quality i thought they were decent for what they were so i thought i was really happy you decided to premiere it but i wanted to just kind of talk to you about like what you're working on right now yeah um i mean so that footage was for affinity Mm -hmm. um as far as like quality wise like i'm super stoked with all the clips it was just like the quality of the footage it was just like i recorded it off of like a TV and computers sure. and just like cropped it. No, for sure. Um, but yeah, I'm super stoked with everything we've got. Um, we've been filming since my welcome to dropped like a year ago. So we've been like stacking. I would say I've got like almost maybe five minutes. Um, it's awesome. I'm going to save some of it for myself. Cause we're also working on something just like me and affinity. And then we also want to film a mid length. We're like currently filming a mid length. Um, I think that's going to come out sometime next year. Um, so you'll see some footage from me and then the rest of the team as well. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. I'm super excited for that. And yeah, Yeah. I'm glad that the, like, I can't wait to see obviously the final quality of the video. I'm just glad that the cropping and stuff didn't stop you from premiering it. Cause like I was super hyped to see it personally. Yeah. Thank you. It got me, everyone got me hyped all night and I was like, oh yeah, I want to show some footy for sure. Keep the night going. Yeah. The last clip. Oh yeah, my god. Sick. Legendary <laughs> yeah. toe in. I yeah, know, dude. Shout out David Coe. Yeah. yeah. That was awesome. yeah. Super, super glad I got to see that, honestly. Yeah, but all that stuff that is cool. all that was up in the bay. Yeah. Like yeah. all SF, Oakland, San Jose, maybe. Yeah. All that area. Um, and then Anton came down for like a week and then we stacked again, like in my area, LA, OC. 
Yeah. So there's stuff. there's also some more stuff. A lot working. of good street. Yeah. Tons of good street. Lots of footage <laughs> coming. Lots yeah. of stuff for Northern coming too. Oh, words. Yeah. Word. Have a bunch of footage with Daniel as well. That's super sick. Daniel's yeah. a really good filmer. Yes. I fuck with him. I love sure. that guy. Funny. Yeah, funny. funny. He's, very he's funny. Guy. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah. He's a character, dude. Yeah. I love that fool. Yeah, man. Yeah, it seems like a cool team, like Northern. Honestly, I feel like y'all all just like kind of like goof around and get like some good clips. Like, yeah, dude, we're together. We're definitely that feels like a big family. Whenever I'm with those fools, yeah, it's always good vibes. Cool. We're always just laughing, yeah. having a good time. It's not really like stressful ever. Like if you don't get a clip, bro, it's cool. Like if you hurt yourself, don't stress. Like get right and then come back. Like yeah, it's right. all right. That's sweet. Yeah. yeah, that's dope. I like that. That's cool. You know. When you, there's only so much you can push people before they just like hit a breaking point. So, yeah, you know, just as much as we need to stay real with ourselves on tricks, it's like up to your team to kind of keep you in a good place as well, as far as like not over pushing the riders to just their limit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah dude, I feel it. Literally. Definitely a balance. For sure. Where's uh, the favorite place you've ever been? I know you've been uh, a lot of places. So you can name a few if you need. I mean, it's probably going to sound cliche, but I got to say Barcelona, bro. Like, like, oh, man, that one is coming. It's, yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> like, um, I'm actually heading back on the 12th. So like in like oh, five sweet. days, oh, five or six sweet. days, I'm uh, going to Extreme Barcelona. Uh, um, But I haven't cool. been in a few years. And every time I go, it just gets better. It's yeah. always super sick. So that's sweet just like unlim- before i was even like riding the way i am now i would go out there and like ride spots like i feel like that's i didn't want to go out there and like ride a skate park or i mean yeah riding skate parks is cool or like riding the skate parks out there was cool but i don't those spots like they're way different than Unreal. any other spots so like i was just i'm trying to do that all the time when i'm out there even when i was like younger on micro or even when i went on mad yeah um just riding the spots was so sick. It's like, it was always a way different experience than anything I was like able to do back home or anything like that. Absolutely. You flare yeah. the seawall every time. <laughs> Damn near. <yeah. laughs> if I ride past, if you ride past it, you have to. Like, oh man. You can't you not. To. You have to. <laughs> That's the next flare I'll throw. Yeah. No, it's honestly. A, it's right there next to where they do the competition too. So it's like. May as well pop yeah. over real quick. <laughs> Gotta do a quick dope. flare by the water. <laughs> Actually, I have to win in Rome, you know? Dude, Barcelona looks so sick. Like, I want to ride there, too. That's another one that I would, I really want to hit. I remember seeing John Collin, who lived just, like, mm. a couple hours north of me, go there, and, you know, he tore it up. And so yeah. I think that's John what kind of got me dude. wanting to go over there and just fuck with it, you know? Goat. He oh, my God. I, I, I want him like, back. I want him back. <laughs> yeah, I miss watching him scooter. <laughs> Come back, um, John, if you hear this, please. Jesus yeah, Christ, I hope you're watching you. this, bro. <laughs> just click that link. Yeah, you please. see my story, like or any of our stories, just click it. Call me. This. You have my number. <laughs> Call me. You. Come <laughs> on, bro. You, John. <laughs> I remember Whatever. like seeing him for the first time, I think, or like really understanding like how good he was um, at the Chino Comp yeah. and like, Nationals. He just did like a bunch of shit that no one was doing. Yeah. Like not even like local riders. And I was like, dog, this guy is crazy. Like yeah. gap front 50, the bank to bank mm-hmm. to the down ledge. And then oh, like yeah, 180, yeah. the step down to flat, I think. I was like, dude. This front 50s? He's, he's locked. 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 Yeah. He was, yeah, he he's was good. Yeah, very, very chill guy too. Mm-hmm. Like I've, I got to know him for a while, just like growing up. He'd come down with the Oklahomies. And uh, yeah, just a great guy, genuinely. So I think that kind of adds to like, at least my like Dude. idea of him as a writer. It's like you're fucking killing it, but also you're like humble, pretty chill. Yeah. So I think, I think we cool. all accepted him like as a Texas scooter rider for real. We're like, you're not really from Oklahoma. Dude. Yeah, like, you're too raw. Dude, he would come to Allen and uh, do you remember? Did you ever go to any of those? Actually, I think that's where I like really uh, met him. Yeah, we did like the, the ISF or something. Yeah, at Allen. ISA. Yeah, yeah it was ISA. ISA. Yeah, 
he was killing it dude yeah he would always roll up there just enter pro yeah i remember actually rip it. destroy that yeah. that's definitely where i met him and then when i like it's like dang he's the real deal yeah yeah Chino, Chino. i was like damn yeah no. Even then, at the at the Allen ones, now that you say it, I remember him doing like the front fifties on like the big ass rail at Allen. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, like no one was really doing any of that. No. Like, back then, he, like, <laughs> I was like, six damn, front fifty two. Yeah. I think I was like, fuck, dude. Yeah. I'm not doing that. That's a tough one too, because it's pretty mellow. So it's like you got to get some some good speed at it. Yeah, I usually just board slider. Yeah. You won't catch yeah, me yeah, dead doing front, front fifty in up rail. No way. <laughs> Be back, probably back. Maybe front side now. No, no. <laughs> I look too much. I feel like you know, back side. I could just like trust. Yeah. And it's like I break my trust sometimes when I miss, and then I get scared. But it's like the front side. I feel like I look too hard, and then it just makes me miss. People have always told me that front side's easier too because you can see what you're doing, and I I really don't I feel don't that like at it. all. Personally, I used to feel the same way, but recently I'm. Almost on the side of front fifties. You're into the front, okay? Yeah, and for the same reason, like I can somehow see them now. Yeah, like it yeah. just like once I got it, like like a little bit, like I don't know what it is, but I feel like I'm more confident on like jumping high up and like trying to just like stick the front fifty out. I feel like it's a little bit more risk to where like on the back fifty when I'm jumping high up, I'm like guessing. nearly full committed and mm-hmm. kind of guessing yeah yeah like the the first you like you don't have to like i feel like fully commit right away if you want to see if you can get in it yeah like the back 50 for me like yeah true i can't like push a back 50 up and like maybe keep my front foot on to like lock in i don't know yeah that makes front 50 i can like kind of like help myself get up in there it sounds weird but yeah i see packs and do it a lot yeah like he he survey he like susses it out before he commits, he like yeah. makes sure he's like, no, nah, I could definitely lock in. Yeah. And then he just does it. I'm like, ooh. Ooh. For me, it's like, yeah, I just hop in the back 50. Yeah. <laughs> oops, precision ride? Well, <laughs> yeah, oops. right. I still landed okay. it. <laughs> I think I'd still rather miss a back 50, though. Like, yeah. You know, I think yeah. I'd rather try a back 50 down something crazy and miss it than yeah. try to front 50 that same thing and miss it. Yeah, you get bodied. Yeah, it gets pretty... Front 50s are pretty bad when you miss. Not good for the shins. Nah. Certainly not. Bro, no. Oh, your stomach gets the tall one. Still, two years later, my shin is fucked from front yeah. 50. I tried to do front board once, accidentally went into front 50 on a round rail, slipped out, went to my shins, and my chin just like... Damn. Just slapped. It was it was bad. But yeah, no, it's like front 50s are like kind of scary sometimes. They're wild. Yeah. Definitely, definitely, definitely sick, though. Wild. Sick as fuck. They feel good. <laughs> yeah, they, they do. They feel really good. <laughs> Just sitting in one, you're like, yeah. Locked. Yeah, I'm locked. <laughs> yeah. I'm locked. It's like 5 0. A locked 5 0 is like dopamine oh, rush. It's the perfect straight manual. Up, straight yeah, up. Yeah, great. Perfect it perfect really manual. is. Bro, I love that trick. <laughs> yeah. I'm so hyped we have a skate park now with coping on the top of these ledges. Yeah, I agree. So I can actually do tricks besides feeble, like a lip. Yeah. And not have the possibility of just grabbing halfway across, <laughs> just doing a front flip. It's like, there's no way. Yeah, there's no way I'm like charging a nose blunt or a 5 0 or a crook at these other ledges. Yeah. It's like, I would just rather not have them like that. Yeah, than we just like got consistently that. Consistently die. We just got that new, like, thick coping on the top of the ledges at Chino. Ooh. Oh, cool. Um, every, all, all of them are like that, except for like, like the two main ones, like in the front and the back. But like the bump to ledges and everything else, they all got like the nice thick yeah. coping on them now. So you can do like the nose blunts and the crooks. Yeah. It's way better. Uh, so it's much key, better. Man. Yeah. Cause then I feel like but if... I also died because of that coping. Really? Oh no. Yeah, bro. I tried to do a fakey feeble and like just both wheels on the slippery ass waxed ledge coping oh, and just squashed out immediately. <sighs> My hand just like went straight into the ground and I just messed my fingers up. Uh, it's still did, messed yeah. up. Yeah, damn. It's just like a. I don't know if ice. it'll ever be the same, bro. Like, for real. Like, it's been almost like two months now, I feel like. Fuck. Like, these ones, like, I don't know. Maybe I'm double jointed here, but like, I can kind of like bend them back. Yeah. And I can't, like, this one I can, but I fucked these up and I can't. 
they don't go anywhere. Yeah. And I'm like trying. They're just stuck. It's like so weird. I lost a lot of the mobility in my ring finger when I broke it, but over time it did get better. So Word. I'm I'm hoping for you, but yeah, it's, yeah, it's pretty like, gnarly. I was going to go to the doctor and I was like, dude, this my fingers, like they're not really going to do anything for me. I just like taped them together for a little bit. Yeah. And I had one of those finger things from the past. So I like, wore that for a little bit. Like, for sure. What can I you do? It's like, I got to keep call. scootering, bro. Like, yeah, <laughs> literally. That was kind of my mentality too. It's like, yeah. they can't really do much for fingers. Yeah. They just like splint it, you know, ice it. But got a lumpy finger now. <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> it Pay is to the is. game. Yeah, right. <laughs> I got a claw for a hand. Though, so. <laughs> That's true. Honestly. It could be worse. So sick though. Is is a magic claw, bro. It makes you good at scootering. I don't know what it is. <laughs> Something. Something. You're always committed. You can't let go. Yeah, and like, it, like it feeds those bar spins. Yeah, yeah, sick, truly, really. super sick. Like a superhuman. It's the full machine. Yeah. <laughs> I'm surprised Paxton's not back. Yeah, I was kind of just thinking that. It's crazy. It's been a little bit. What uh, what time do you have to go, Nolan? My flight boards at three fifty. Looking at two thirty-two. What was your favorite part about Austin that wasn't scootering? Um, real quick. for sure. I like the city, honestly, like just like how we can go and what, do what we did yesterday. Yeah. Or like also it doesn't really feel like it's too like, I just like how it's a more like youth or like a younger vibe. I can feel like, or maybe yeah, like more modern in Austin. Um, kind of like makes me feel a little bit at home, but then you can also go and feel like you're just submerged in another in country Texas. yeah like yeah. yesterday i felt like i was not even in america for like a couple like just looking back at the trees i'm like dude like this is austin like no way it's pretty crazy man there's a lot of history out here but yeah like you said it is a college uh city so it's like we've got a lot of younger people out here yeah and i think i i really enjoy that demographic personally just because it does lead to that sort of like modern approach to things whether it be like city planning architecture yeah. you know whatever but um yeah the trees here like the nature of the hill country definitely a big vibe mm -hmm. the river we floated yesterday out in san marco super yeah. dope but yeah Beautiful. i'm glad to hear i'm glad to hear you liked it yeah man thanks um yeah it's just cool to be out here like again because yeah. it's been a couple years when i would come out here earlier like when my brother did live out here i wasn't 21 or anything so i couldn't like if I wanted to go out and like experience anything or like that, what the city actually has to offer, like mm -hmm. I couldn't really do any of that. Yeah, for sure. Being a little bit older and coming back, it's just gives you a different perspective. like perspective. Yeah, yeah, true. I like, I feel like I would like it here. Yeah, definitely. It. A so, lot of people cool do. <laughs> yeah. I wish you came to the club with us that one night. <laughs> yeah, I know. Like, where were you? It's just a, such a <laughs> sick know. venue, you know, and just like the DJ. Yeah, it's kind of like a rave type vibes, just like lasers and stuff. Yeah, we're, yeah rest in peace, sick. the it's Coconut cool. Club. Yeah, it could be gone next year. But Sad you day. know what? We got a whole street of bars, There's tons more. Oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it never ends. It never ends, <laughs> man. Yeah, it's a cool city. I'm glad that like um, everybody that comes kind of says that because I feel like they don't expect too much besides like the jam, and they're like, oh, like this is actually like a cool spot. Like I like it here. I'm like, yeah. yeah, cool. We're gonna yes. host it again next year. So I'm back. Awesome. sick. Yeah. For Maybe sure. get a house so you don't have to sleep on my floor. <laughs> if you want to move here and start joining the scooter army with me, Paxton, and Andy Koki, feel free. And Josh. Feel free. And Josh. Occasionally. Like, Josh. Right here. <laughs> Josh. Hey, hey, hey. I kinda no, I gotta I gotta give it to him because like recently I've kind of dropped off. I can't even lie. Um you I've had it. a lot of injuries. Um and like my body being 25 years old has started to express those injuries. And so I've just been taking some time, getting the gym and like strength and everything up, mm -hmm. get it nice. Yeah, and then bro, this weekend good. was fantastic. So I really enjoyed going out to Mueller, these new parks and just riding street park, and getting yeah. back into it. Hell so, yeah. you I know, knew the new park would get you. Out hopefully, <laughs> hopefully over style. the coming months, it's going to cool down a bit and I'll be out riding a bit more. So yeah, looking but forward no, to you, it. you definitely need to take care of yourself. Absolutely. Guys, sure your injuries please. Are good and I hear so much about kids that stretch. like dislocate or, you know, whatever they get an yeah. injury and then they never rehab it. They never 
work yeah. out or anything and it just gets worse. <laughs> yeah everything i just said about my fingers don't listen to that take yeah. care of yourself yeah if no, it was definitely. something like <laughs> like my foot or anything i would take my time and heal but like, yeah they're not gonna these just heal on their own kind of i feel like for sure but yeah it's it's important to prioritize and you know i don't think growing up like i was really encouraged through uh scootering as a sport or going to the skate park to like really do much more than stretching yeah. and i just started looking to other athletic sports for like you know how can i get my body back on track to do the things i want to do without having chronic pain and i think cbd working out and stretching have been major keys to all of that also ice buckets yeah paxton put me onto sure. these ice buckets and they're fucking ice fantastic is friend fantastic i can't stress it enough stretching is the best yeah you stretch like at least 15 minutes a day absolutely like multiple times a day <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's and lift it's some good. weights get those shout muscles nice Hoff. and strong so they hold yeah. shit in place you know yeah, dude. <laughs> shout out wim hoff yeah go check out the hoffman <laughs> but yeah if you you get a heel bruise or you roll something put that thing in some ice yes sir immediately immediately that's what i'm doing when i get home <laughs> grab some cbd if you have it for like yeah. straight days CBD, some ice You'll be back by next weekend. I'm telling you, that's what I do. Ice. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Bucket of ice, bucket of warm water. Yeah. Mm. Bucket of ice, bucket of warm water. Back yes, and sir. forth, back and forth. Massage, and, massage that muscle that you hurt. Facts. A few times. Yes, sir. Yeah. Don't ever go cold back to hot. Forth. Go hot to cold. <laughs> really? Yeah, because like uh, the way the blood moves, it can just cause like... Uh, the blood vessels to like rapidly expand and it just causes pain, hmm. cause more inflammation. Well, yeah. cool. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Do you want to hop in here, Paxton? Do Ugh. some do some work. But yeah. Any questions? It was great to talk to you, Nolan. I'm gonna hop end. off. Thanks for hopping in. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it was, it was great, great having you this weekend. And to yeah, the Ten Four podcast, I will be back. Um, not really yeah, Josh my Fuller. pod, but you know. Josh Fuller. Josh Fuller. Tap Thank in. You, Josh. He's some. Thank you for that. Hello, Austin. You know what? I'm going to get down. Paxton had to take Neil no. to the airport. Yeah, shout out. Oh. Shout out. <laughs> it's quiet. <laughs> I'm very um, low. Shout out uh, Josh for filling in. I had to go take Neil to the airport, and Nolan leaves very soon, and we wanted to get this done, so... Hell yeah. I Busting just got some results in from the doctor. I d did some blood work two weeks ago. That's why I had to wait in there um, when I first got back. I'm killing it. My cholesterol, my thyroid, my fucking sugar, glucose level. The boy's clean. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We're clean. Congrats, bro. Talk to That's him. huge. Yeah, she's hyped. Congratulations, back to she's hyped. Let's see, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man! So what have you guys talked about mostly? <sighs> been shooting shit. Has it been? Yeah, we just been shooting, shooting the shit. shit for sure. He oh, likes yeah. Barcelona. He likes three sixty flips. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, a good trick. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Yeah, you know. Yeah, if you had any actual questions, I probably um, haven't been answered. Have, <laughs> I, one thing I did want to ask was, uh, if y'all haven't talked about it, I feel like you've had a lot of fucking sponsors over the years like you've gone through the ringer mm -hmm. within scootering who's like can you just go through that timeline of like first time getting picked up and then to where you are now yeah so i mean my first ever sponsor was the shop pro scooter lab okay um i just got lucky enough that they opened a shop in the city that i live in um and then after that like the first manufacturer the company I rode for was Micro Scooters. And I that, like that hookup kind of came through Branson and Rylan Smith because they're locals at Ayala Skate Park as well. Good homies of mine. And they rode for Micro for a bunch of years too. Okay. Um, and then Micro eventually shut down. Or not really shut down. They just like, they got a new owner actually. And he didn't really believe in like the freestyle side of the sport, I guess. Mm -hmm. Because Micro is like the UK Razor. They do like a lot more than just scootering. They got like the gotcha. electric like, stuff and I gotcha. all of the other toys and whatnot. Um, which was cool when they fucked with this freestyle stuff because we had like a 
big budget to travel and everything. Um, but then all that was just gone like instantly. Um, and then after that, I got on Mad Gear. I went for MGP for like two years. Okay. Um, and that was cool until it wasn't. Um, <laughs> I feel like I basically it... just got like kicked off kind of out of nowhere. Damn. Everyone thinks I quit. I didn't. <laughs> just got kicked like for no reason. That I thought sucks, I was doing a good dude. job. I feel like Mad Gear uh, doesn't really treat the riders that well, but it just they, seems I, like... I think they do until they don't. Like, okay, I just, like it I was cool and yeah. until it wasn't like, I don't know. I don't want to say too much. Yeah, true. I don't know. See, obviously, I, talk, like, I don't too bad, but I don't know. Just um, it does seem like they have people hooked on, like, and then out of nowhere they fall. Yeah, like, I mean, get, you can get off. But, if you look at the past, like that's kind of seems to be their history and their reputation, like with their team. Like when I was growing up, scootering, like Mad Gear was super sick. They had Peter Jungsberger, Joe mm-hmm. Armstrong, Colin De Silva. Um, yeah. Tedrick, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Chandler Dunn, Jeremy Bow, yeah, like yeah. a bunch of these sick fools, and everyone wanted to be on. Like, you do, they had Jesse Aikida, Tyler Bonner, Tyler Bonner. yeah, like if we were like go <laughs> further Price. back, yeah. Um, and then they just, as far as I'm concerned, they did the same thing to me that they did to like that whole team. Damn, I could be wrong, but. It just seemed like they all got like done dirty because they were all like back to back to back, like kind of gone. You know, it was never really like one at a time for own reasons. It kind of all seemed like the same thing. Hmm. Um, so, but what came after Mad Gear? Uh, nothing for a bit. Um, and then I started riding for Affinity because they're the homies. They're from Riverside, like kind of the same area. John Radke and Chris, I've known them for a while just from them like coming through Chino being back in the day or whatever. Like I've seen them since I first got into scootering. Um, and then they've been like flowing me bars and everything. Like even when I was on Mad Gear. Um, and then I dropped a video part, like my Northern part. Okay. Um, yeah. Cause I started riding for them too, like in the whole pandemic thing. Um, and then I started getting like some companies like hitting me up with some offers, but I wasn't ever really like officially on Affinity and I really wanted to be. So before like I took any of those, I went to John and was like, yeah, I really want like, to wanna fully represent you guys and like ride for Affinity and, you know, be on the team. Cause Sweet. I think I am. Like I was like, <laughs> I, I, like, I'm pretty sure I am, but like, am I like, can you confirm that? And he was like, oh, yeah, like, most definitely, like, uh, we don't just hook up anybody, like, the way we're hooking up, like, you and this and that. And then, so then I got on Affinity, like, for sure. And then, um, Lucky came to me and wanted me to, like, be, like, their street rider, I guess you can say. A little gotcha. bit of an older of a rider. Um, that wind Damn, blower. blower that crazy. blower is crazy in that yeah, he's right here. <laughs> it just slowly got louder i didn't know if josh was like vacuuming or not i thought i was like damn i gotta cl- close the door josh is cleaning up and, uh, just the fucking leaf blower just the gardener getting yeah, to it earlier, like, getting jiggy yeah uh it wasn't that bad until just now it's fading out um, but yeah, so you're unlucky and you're yeah. like a part of their street team. Do you know where they want to go with that? Um, they definitely want to expire. I would like to expand it for sure. And they're interested in expanding it. Um, I don't know how much I can give away or anything yeah, like that. Um, course. but definitely something that's going to happen like in the future, I would say. Uh, like, okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. Cause I mean. I'm interested in writing bigger product and they know that and it's just going to take time, but eventually it'll happen sooner or later. I think sooner, but it's just difficulties that we're working through right now. Definitely. Yeah, it's coming. I would love to see that. Do you like it enough or are the benefits like good enough to where you're down to wait like six months to a year? 
Like, or did you kind of just take the offer prior and just mm. kind of think it would be a little sooner or kind of? I mean, I kind of knew that like nothing was going to come right away because like they had came to me with the deck that I'm on now, like wanting me to test it. Okay. So like I already knew it was going to be like a process um, because they're like making this new XL prospect. That's 5.3 by 22. So it's like not really XL, but like for them it is. Yeah, um, it is definitely. Yeah. So yeah. like, I was like, yeah, I'm down to ride that, and then work from there. Because I was basically already on that size deck, like beforehand. Okay. Um, cool. So yeah, it wasn't like I didn't like go into a trap or nothing. Yeah. <laughs> it was like yeah, I, I knew yeah, like what yeah. I was, what was happening, yeah. and all that. And it's cool. They're, they're good people over there, and they like want to listen more. And I feel like maybe get more like rider input and everything which is sick and they also like got this whole like river thing too like they allow me to ride for river which is super tight which is like never really happened before like they've never really co-sponsored anyone else like usually all the dudes on lucky ride for lucky i got like ride their wheels and everything um that is sweet it seems like they're they're compromising for you which is huge like yeah it's very it's very sick um, I appreciate everything that they're doing for sure. <clears throat> yeah, and I think the future yeah. is going to be sick. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Are you excited to get on a bigger deck again? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I mean, the biggest deck I even rode was only 5.5. Five. Okay. So, like, I am more than ready to get on a bigger one. Because I was, like, in the time when I was, like, about to get on Lucky, I was in the process of being, like, do I want to ride this same size or do I want to just jump on this six like do i want to just go six right now and i was like kind of debating it and then lucky came and i was like "Uh, i think i kind of want to stay and then i can still like whip this around a little bit easier than i would like another six wide or a bigger deck and like still kind of are you itching for it right now though are you curious yeah i mean yeah like i'm ready i'm ready to be on that six wide like it feels feel it or just yeah it's good, bro. You're gonna like anytime I'm around a bigger deck, I like space. don't want to ride it because I'm just gonna like get used to it. But also, like sometimes I'm like, there'll be like a kid at the park with like a six or like a six five, and I'm like, let me ride that for a bit, and then I go and I'll do like a trick on that, and it just like gets my confidence up. I'm like, I could do this on my scooter, and I just go and grab mine, and I just do it on mine. Yeah. But like, I just need that little bit of confidence boost, like. But that's how like, how like I learned predators, like. I can like I just recently learned predators and I there was a kid with a seven wide and I just like did it on his a couple of times and I was like pretty sure yeah. I can do this on my like I can fifty this rail both ways. Yeah. Just gotta hop into the other side. Like just need a little bit of confidence. Yeah. And then yeah. <laughs> but that's a good pretty trick. sick. Yeah. I, I would have like, thought uh you'd be more scared. Like in my head I was I would think like going from the seven to the five three. Like, oh fuck. I mean if, if I were to have, like get stuck on the seven then yeah, yeah i'd be like oh no i can never do that but i just like 10 minutes yeah or, like five minutes even and then i go back i'm like okay, yeah, this true. is this is pretty cool i think seven's too big correlates well yeah it's i mean big. it's massive seven's bro so ridiculous that's why i was like i gotta see this and then i was like oh this is chill like that was pretty easy i was bro. like i think i can do this online like, i feel like six feel a little bit harder obviously you but... go. that's my opinion like I get the Aztec the six six because it's like tapered, but oh man, it's fucking large. I don't want a it skateboard with handlebars. I want I want it to be a scooter. Yeah. Um, I guess it always six, will be two wheels, but yeah, six three is good. It's good size. I'm hyped for that. Five one. eight to six three. That's like my range. I like that. Yeah, I rode five seven five for a while, and I never wanted to go up. Okay, I like this. It's like a six. It seems like a it'd be a really good you know, size. It's nice. I'm on five eight right now. I I love it. Okay, I'm a big fan, yeah. can whip it around good. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Back in before I got unlucky, when I was just like riding whatever deck I wanted, I almost got the satellite. Yeah, that was a five seven five TSI, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I was like almost gonna get that. It's a good one. Yeah, it's a good one. Shout out TSI. 
Trick scooters Killing international. It. Killing it. Homies. Big homies. <laughs> Shout out elephants. Shout out slumped. Shout out active. Oh yeah, there we go. Big shout that out slumped. Shout out Jake. It's the boy. It's a squirrel. He said he's down to hop on one day, so we'll see. We'll see. Oh, that'll be a Love good one. To. We'll see. Yeah. <laughs> Jake's the man. He's so dope. So good at scootering. It's yeah. It's crazy. Dude, he thinks he's washed up, too. It's crazy. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm so hyped to see his Aztec <laughs> video part and then be like, all right. There's this one clip he got on a rail here. It's like this curved rail. It's pretty nuts. And, like, the trick he did on it, like, is insane. Because it's, no not, it's not a 50. Nah, I believe it. But, like, the fact that he just, like, didn't miss. Just, like, kept, like, fucking going for it. It's like, it's like bro, there's no way. Yeah. There's yeah, no, no I can't wait. He's so good. That whole video is going to be really sick. Are you going to be at Sovereign Street? Yes, sir. Oh, He's okay. in it. I am invited. You're in it. Yeah. Fuck. Your boy caught an invite. Best of luck, bro. Holy shit. Yes, Let's sir. Go. Thank you. Get Fuck, that shit. You'll excited. get to watch the Aztec premiere there, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'd be sick. Go to Kokomo's. <laughs> Let's go. I wonder if everyone will go to Kokomo's after. That's, That's the vibe after the park time, comps. Yeah. Yeah. What's Kokomo's? It's like the bar. The bar yeah. in Havasu? Okay. It's like cool. at the London Bridge Resort. Okay. It's like right on the water. It's cool. Yeah, it's oh, cool. That's tight. Were you in the last one? No, no? I wasn't. Okay. Uh-uh. Yeah. I asked Sean after the last one. I was like, bro, where's my invite? <laughs> like as a joke. He's just like, better get to filming. Like, <laughs> <laughs> This time around, I was like, man, I got to filming. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully I catch yeah. that invite. Did, like, bro. come on. You fucking got to <laughs> come film. Come on. Damn, you hit Carl's bad, bro. Davis. Davis, my yeah. bad. They like, Carl's bad's gone. Yeah, Carl's, Carl's bad's bad. I uh, wish Carl's sure. bad was here still. For real, for real. But the Davis, you're the only scooter rider to hit that? Or is there, mm-hmm. you are the as only one? As far as okay. footy dropped, yes. Oh, oh else, actually, no, no, no. I actually someone saw else, someone okay. Someone fucking, else has conquered the Davis gap. Okay. Yeah, no, yeah. I, I know who that is, actually. I saw him posted on his story. Chase. Eating a sandwich. Hey. Um, I, no. Maybe maybe I don't know about another I talking, person. I was talking about Oh man. There's multiple. Bro, how was that Kyle. though? That's a fucking <laughs> big gap. <laughs> uh yeah, it was big. Um how many tries? One? Yeah. <laughs> so I, I bar spinned it first. And then that was also I was I did the bar spin first try and then Went back up and then did the truck driver. Got fortunate enough to land that first try too. Um, but we were there for so long, bro. It was the biggest mental battle. Like, just so many run ups, unlimited amount of run ups. Probably like. Is that the biggest gap minimum. you've hit? Or the biggest gap you've trucked? Probably. Was yeah, nah, for sure. The it's, biggest gap you trucked? It's pretty big. Probably the biggest one I've hit for sure. Damn. Okay. Um, wow. But yeah, dude, it was just like the biggest mental battle, really, because I was like, in my head, I was like, why has no one done this? Like, has someone tried and they died and like didn't tell anybody? Like, <laughs> is it is it not possible? You know, like, yeah. just like little shit like that was going through my head because no one had done it. But then I was like, dude, I have to do this. Like, I'm not gonna walk away. Yeah. Like when we pulled up, I was like, all right, like we're here. Like, and then I got to the top and I was like, how is no one like? How's no one done? No one's wanted this, yeah. like, and then all that shit started going through my head, and I'm like, damn, maybe this is why. Like, it's just a crazy mental battle. But then I just eventually just sent it down. Oh, I don't yeah. know. Like, I tried to prep for it by like jumping like on my feet a little bit from like kind of high up, just so if I like did have to bail, like I'd kind of know what the impact would be like. But I knew it would be way gnarlier still because yeah. I'd be going. Fast. Like 15 miles an hour, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Full sprint instead of just a little oh. jump. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah dude, I'm glad it, it worked go. out. Yeah. Those run ups probably did help, bro. You like, you, uh, you're able to calculate. You did it so many times, you probably planned it out in your head. Like yeah. you, on something like that, like, that's better than just going for it within five tries and eating shit and then trying to. 
yeah figure there's it like out a, in your head. There's like another set, like after the bar spin, when I like rolling away, there's like an eight stair maybe, or like a 10 stair. Mm-hmm. And then I just like ran up those stairs and then ran at the, like that set, like as fast as I could, like, or as fast as I would for the Davis gap. Okay. And then I just like overshot the hell out of it and trucked it. And I was like, I mean, that's pretty much the takeoff speed. Like that felt pretty good. Yeah. I just going to be a bigger drop, you know? Um, and I went back up there, but then it was still a big old mental battle. Cause I was like, I got to spin. Mm-hmm. I don't want to kick out. But then I was just like, honestly, I was like, dude, Chris Jocelyn kicked out on this so many times. Like, I'll be uh, fine. Like, yeah. And then mm-hmm. once I was like, all right, just do it. It just happened. God, I can't believe you Trey flipped that. So yeah. Fucked. It's really it's, gnarly. It's a lot of fun. I got to show him the clip because he was at Chino one day. No like, way. Scanning. Yeah. Holy shit. So I was like, dude, I, like, I have to show you this. A little closer. Like, you're a big inspiration like for me like doing this gap and he was so stoked on it it was sick he's that's a sick awesome. guy yeah oh man that's, that's huge cool. bro. yeah holy shit it was that's super awesome. tight wow that's cool yeah man that's sick too that he was like uh he was stoked on it he, yeah yeah like as soon as i like took off he was like oh shit he was like damn <laughs> like that thing looks way bigger right now than night when then it did like when i did it i was like all right <laughs> So he's, he's a like, big yeah, ass a little bit <laughs> yeah it's a little bit bigger bro yeah. <laughs> uh, it's like technically it's like a nine flat nine i think you think you could jump leon yeah you do yeah okay fuck man could but, jared is you out there would you jump it or trick it like do you feel like you have to do like a tail whip or a bar spin or you can just straight hop shit I think I can straight hop it, but I feel like a trick. I know it sounds stupid, bro. Like, but I feel like if I did like something down, it would maybe keep me a little bit more balanced for yeah. the drop, because like that's a big bunny hop and you're in the air. Like, just thinking about it so long. Like, if you take off a little bit wrong, like overthinking a bunny hop, versus like not thinking about bar spin. Yeah, or I mean, like, you're only thinking about bunny hop and landing straight versus, like, if I do a, a bar spin or a bar twist or even a tail whip, anything, right? Like, I'm now I'm focused on that trick and getting that trick done and then worrying about the mm-hmm. drop and, yeah. like, the impact versus to where, like, the whole time you just bunny hop. But then again, I've never, like, seen the set. So, like, maybe I get there, I'm like, yeah, fuck this. I'll never try a trick. Maybe I just want to jump it, but... I definitely would like to go there before like it gets done. So then I don't have to trick it. <laughs> Just get there quick. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's pretty nuts well, how many people have tried it. Yeah, yeah man. It's pretty crazy. It. There's like five, maybe even more, maybe. Maybe more, yeah. Five, like maybe even potentially ten. <laughs> <laughs> it's but I feel like a lot of random fools. Or it's banana like ten people's scooters. Yeah, including multiple people or like one person going once with multiple people scooters going a bunch of times, multiple people scooters like Jared bent like two of his homies so deck many. or some or some shit. So many. That's nuts. God damn. It's crazy because like I feel like when it got done in skating, there was just um, Alibaba. He tried it and then that was that. And then Jaws came in. And he was the only other person to try it, and then he did it. Wasn't it like 25 years later, too, or something? Yeah. Which was crazy. Mm-hmm. And they, they brought him to the set, Alibaba, the first dude who tried it. But now it's yeah. like way more scooter riders are trying it than just those two skaters, and nobody can put this shit down. Somebody's got to do it for scooters. For real. Like, That's got to happen. It really does. It's a fat set. Eden almost whip barred it. <laughs> Bro, if he would have yeah. tried a full whip instead of whip bar, he probably would have done it. He was I mean, too steezy with the bar, bro. Like He threw he it too threw late. late. He couldn't out. take the impact. Yeah. Like, as soon as he got his hands on, he hit the ground. Yeah. True. True. It's a heavy one. That's for sure. <laughs> yeah. That would have been so sick. <laughs>
somebody firecracker it. Zach Martin. <laughs> Zach <laughs> Martin. Crowns. Come back. <laughs> Crowns. Firecracker <laughs> Leon. Firecracker this set oh for me, God. G. That'd be so fucking Stop. awesome. Stop it's scared. a firecracker. You did it on the Havasu 14. Yeah. <laughs> just hit the 25. It's, just it's 11 not. more. It's honestly easier. <laughs> I think the stairs are longer. Stairs are longer. Well, and the concrete out there is like a pillow. Yeah, yeah. So it's it softer really overseas. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's nice. It's for sure. That free health insurance, too. Yeah, go eat shit overseas if anywhere. That makes the You'll concrete be right. definitely softer, actually. You'll be all right. I heard it's softer here in Texas, too. Apparently, it's like That's what they say. Yeah. It is, yeah. If it would have been a lot worse if you were in California, no one. <laughs> I'll tell you what. <laughs> yeah, probably. You probably would have shattered. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Oh, man. Damn, it's got a little bounce to it out here. Well, um... My flight board's in like 50 uh, minutes. Uh, okay, then, yeah, we got to get you to your fucking classes, brother. My classes. You're, oh, my God, I read a text about someone that, you know, we got to get you to your flight. Yes. <laughs> All right. I appreciate you guys. Shout out 10-4. Shout, Shout out Austin out. Street Jam. Thank you for having me. Much yeah, love. No problem. Thank Thanks you. for coming on. Hell yeah. Again, great Episode weekend. Nine. Definitely be back in the city. Episode Let's 9. Go. Let's go. 10-4.